So in order to get the new skins, emotes, and chibis this time around, the first thing you'll need is a cooking pot. Then from there, you're going to need to obviously light it up. So use spark powder or wood. And then you're going to need cooked prime meat, prime meat jerky, and cooked meat. Then from there, go ahead and open up the holiday tab. Once in the tab, you'll see all the new event items that we can craft during this event. Now, all the new items that are within this event start here at the grilling spatula skin and end at the mosh pit emote. They are all the new items in this event. And then all the items from the previous events are from, you know, the Archer Flex emote all the way up to the Dino Uncle Sam hat skin. Now, you're going to need those three different ingredients because each one of these skins here is going to cost either one of these. So on the screen right now are the crafting costs to everything in the cooking pot this event. So go ahead and refer to that. There are now 76 chibis in the game. Thanks to the five new chibis that we got. Those being the Manta, Animamite, Jellyfish, Plesiosaur, and Astrocetus. Now it's important to note that these guys can only be obtained during this event and you are able to get all 76 chibis that have been introduced. Now, it's important to know is that these guys are event items, meaning you won't respawn with them when you die, and you can only obtain them during this event. But, if you host your own server, you can add them in via drops. Now, chibis are important as if you level a chibi to its max level by killing alpha creatures with it equipped, then once the chibi hits the max level, being 6, then the player cap is increased by 5, meaning instead of being stuck at 105 unofficial, you can then get to rank 110. Furthermore, during the event, if you end up getting four chibis that you don't like, so you've got four dodo chibis, then what you can do is go into a refining forge, put some fuel in it, then chuck in those four dodos, and what it'll do then is it'll convert those four chibis into one completely new random chibi, so then that's just a way to recycle chibis if you're getting absolute terrible ones during this event. So something to keep in mind is that all the items that you craft in the cooking pot are considered to be event items, meaning you won't respawn with them when you die, and they won't transfer to another server unless you go ahead and upload it, then download it on the other server, as well as all these items can only be obtained during this event. Now the only skins that you can get when the event is over is the Fireworks Flare Gun, Fireworks Rocket Launcher, and the Torch Sparkler skin by completing the achievements attached to them. Information on those will be in the description below. The emotes themselves are also event items, meaning you can only craft and obtain them during this event. Furthermore, the emotes are attached to the survivor you use them on. So for example, if I got them on my island single player survivor, it would not be on my official island survivor as they are two different survivors. So make sure you keep that in mind when obtaining these emotes. Alright, so on the screen right now, we're going to be going through the last of the new skins for the weapons, as well as we are going to be looking at some of the old skins as well. Uh, but before I stop talking and you just listen to some awesome music and enjoy this, I just want to quickly mention that the event will be running until tw July 21st now, as well as the boosts are 3 times breeding currently, 3 times player XP, 3 times harvesting, and 3 times taming. This may or may not change due to Ark having a bunch of problems since the Summer Bash came out last weekend. And on top of that, there is a bunch of event colored wild dinos. So when you're out hunting for wild dinos, you will see dark blue, red, white, sky blue, dark red, blue, light gray, cream, caramello, orange, medium teal, dark blue, lemon lime, peach, and coral. So you'll be finding them in the wild creatures. So definitely go and track down some of those awesome looking colored creatures and tame them. With that being said though guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.